thought among you guys uh, as a team of how that shot goes down and, and it gets sent into overtime, especially given what happened in Notre Dame a few days earlier. It's a big shot. Jamel, nobody scores that many points against that team. What was the key tonight? Try to drive the basketball, you know, uh, make them get crowded a little bit, uh, make the open plays. So sometimes we have to force, you know, some shots that we usually don't take, but uh, just try to get open, uh, create chaos for them a little bit, and try to wear them out. How different was it attacking this team with Coach Stallings than it was in the past? Because it felt like in the past you guys would be grinding down the shot clock every time. How was it different? Um, just try to, you know, put the pressure on them. So we would try to attack. Uh, we had open lane, try to just go out there, don't be stationary, uh, find the open play, and uh, yeah, space the floor a little bit more. Uh, I would say this game. Do you feel like you almost took them out of their comfort zone a little bit? Because they're a team that really likes to slow it down. You kind of play a little bit faster than they like it. Yeah, um, like I said, we're a fast-paced, up-tempo team. Uh, they like to, you know, take late shots on the shot clock. So we try to, you know, get our opportunities in the fast break uh, and just try to take quick shots and get more possessions in them. That really show you guys you can score against anybody. I mean, you've done it against a lot of teams, but against a team like that. Um, I think it does. I mean, uh, when we just get good shots, you know, scream for each other. You know, move, move how we move. I don't think there's a team that you know, can really, like, stay with us for the entire 30-second uh, shot clock. How big, it, big was it for you guys to have the balance that you did tonight with almost five players and double figures? Um, it was huge, especially, like, um, you know, when, my, when I started cramping up, Ryan came in and there wasn't you no know, drop-off. He had a huge block, a huge tip-in, so you know, it, was, it was huge because we really needed that tonight. Sean, what was working for you guys on the boards, 42, 24? Um, I mean, we're, we're smaller, but, you know, at the same time, we're, we're still athletic and, you know, we, we're very physical. So we it's, half the battle is just going, you know, after that, it's just boxing somebody out and going to get it. There, uh, there were a few different plays, uh, Shell, where Mike would be double teamed on on, on the baseline, and, you know, and, you know, and then behind his back, he would toss it to you for an open dunk. Was that when, so that's some of you guys have kind of noticed on, on the film that when Mike drew those double teams, that there was some you, the y'all could, could exploit there. Um, can't really give that answer because we got to play Virginia again. So <laughs> let's wait till then. Sheldon, you were kind of off to a slower start to start the season, and then I saw you smiling when you picked up the statue after this game, 16 points under seven shots. So you feel like you're really getting into a groove here as ACC play starts? Um, yeah, a lot of it just goes from you know being found in the right right spots, like you said. I got two easy dunks off of. Mike, uh, Jamel had two good passes in me in overtime. It's just, just getting the ball in the right spots. Did they play off you guys in the overtime? You got those three threes right at the start of overtime. Did they um, play off to come out? It was kind of like a play we called, and it was just uh, the first time they kind of really keyed in on Mike and Mel and just left me. And then the second time we ran the play again, they, they stayed with me, and that's when Mel got that three. Ryan, can you take us through that put-back block sequence there at the end of the uh, the uh, put back, I just try to be aggressive, go on the boards. Um, there's a period we weren't getting too many offensive rebounds, and that's something we've been stressing over the past couple of days. So I just tried to, you know, wedge myself in there, and I got a you know, lucky bounce. I was able to tip me. And then the, uh, the block, uh, I think it was me and Chris Jones. We probably didn't uh, communicate as well as we wanted to on the switch. So I just tried to get back and either foul him or block him. I was able to get a hand on the ball. Uh, even in the short term here, guys, after you know, after coming up just short against Notre Dame, you know, the same thing almost happened tonight. What does it mean for you guys in this moment to be able to get a big win like this, as uh, you know, as you continue with a pretty difficult stretch in your schedule? Um, it's, it's big. It is. You know, it shows that we learned a lot from Saturday. Um, rather, you know, we, we dug down defensively. We took our time and got good shots offensively, and you know, we didn't drop our head whenever. You know, he hit, he hit the shot at them in the regulation, you know. We came together, and that's something that, you know, a lot of people say we haven't done in the past. And I think we did that today. Ryan, was the plan at the end of regulation to foul him or or not? Um, we thought if, 
you caught under five seconds, we maybe get a chance. But um, I think coming down like that, you know, you don't know when he's gonna, um, you don't know when he's gonna shoot. So obviously, uh, you don't want to foul him shooting the three. So he made a nice play. I mean, that three was really deep. So I mean, could have done maybe a little bit better. But I mean, props to him. That was a great shot. Jamel, do you feel like they're a little bit too? I don't know. They're a little too worried about you and Mike at times that it kind of threw them out of their game plan. I don't know. I, I guess uh, guys key on us. You know, we got shooters, Shania, Shelby, Son, Kevin Johnson, and uh, make, they can make big plays. So when they come on us, we can you know kick it and get assists, and they can create for us and other stuff like that. So we don't always have to shoot the basketball. We'll create. Uh, just find out. Jamal, did you guys think coming in that the three-point line was a place where you'd be able to attack the defense, or was it just a matter of? Taking what was there once the game played. Um, we knew that we drove the ball, they were going to be in gap, so we could just make that quick pass. We can line up uh, three point and shoot it. So that was one of the keys in the game, just attacking. They were going to you know, be in gap, so just kick it to the first person, make the shot. You know, kind of off the question to Sheldon, can you take us inside the huddle after regulation, considering what had happened the last game and we what we said? Uh, just come in. Uh, great shot, like you said. Uh, now it's time to go out here and win. We got five more minutes. Go out here and uh, play harder than them. Hit them in the mouth first, and I think we did that. Uh, and I think that uh, aggression that we played on defense, they let down. So you guys have obviously never beaten Virginia since you moved to the ACC, but you had four really tough, close games going in. Did that give you guys some confidence going in, knowing that you could hang with these guys even if you hadn't beaten them before? Um, honestly, it just made us more hungrier. You know, we. We had, every time we played them, we felt like there was a you know, we were in the game. And there was a point in time where we kind of came apart. And tonight, we, there wasn't one of those moments. There was moments where you know it seemed like you know it was going to be the same old story as before. And you know we we, we flipped the script. We, we stayed together, stayed working together, and that's why we won. Anything else?